Hello everybody, welcome back to Lear's Kitchen. So today I'll be showing how to make these mustard fried chicken wings. So let's get started. So once you have your chicken all nice and clean, all the feathers and fat is off of them, you're gonna pour on your mustard. Make sure you get all the mustard out because the mustard is what makes the chicken extra crispy. And we're just going to massage that mustard all over the chicken. Don't be afraid to get up in there. So once you have all the mustard fully cut on the chicken, you're going to place it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes before frying. You want to make sure that the mustard is um, getting marinated on the chicken. So after about 30 minutes or so in the refrigerator, let the chicken come to room temperature before frying. And now we're going to batter the chicken. I'm using I'm using Moss's chicken butter. With this butter, you don't have to season the chicken or season anything because it's already seasoned. So now we're just gonna go in and bread the chicken wings. You see how nice and coated the mustard is still on them. And we're just gonna toss them into the butter. Make sure you shake off the excess. So this is what it's looking like after everything has been fully breaded. Now we're going to head to the deep fryer. So we're just going to drop our chicken wings into the deep fryer once it's all nice and hot. And we're going to let the chicken wings fry for about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you don't overcrowd your fry. You want everything to fry nice and even. So look at these chicken wings. After about 10 or 12 minutes, they are so, so crispy. Look at them. Oh my gosh. These chicken wings look so awesome, especially because they're all flats. They're all flats in this, I think in this batch, I believe. Let me know in the comments if you're team flats or team drums. All right, everybody, so this is the finished result. Thank you so guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.